happy Sunday! Welcome back to my channel! As you already know, I'm in India and I'm super excited to vlog today because it's gonna be the first full vlog from Hyderabad. Today's my day off and I have a bunch of things that I want to do, so I thought it'd be cool to bring you along and show you what it's like to live in Hyderabad. Also, I think it is hilarious that Anna made me coffee and that she's sleeping right now. Because if you watch the video that I made on Seoul, that was the same situation and now I'm going to shower, which again, was exactly how it was in the Seoul video. I just realized that I also need to do laundry. Not very glamorous, but that's what we're doing before a shower, guys. I showered, I got dressed, now I'm just gonna have some coffee and I'm gonna enjoy it on the balcony. There's literally never helicopters here. Okay. I like my coffee with milk and this is soy vanilla milk. You know, I'm so grateful that everybody knows now that I have a YouTube channel that I vlog sometimes because honestly, before it would give me anxiety to think that somebody in the other room just listening me talk and thinking that I'm crazy, which mm, I actually shouldn't care about. <laughs> I just realized that I said that. Somebody thinks that I'm crazy while I was mixing my coffee with a fork. One of my most favorite things in the world that I do now in Hyderabad is going to this balcony in the mornings and reading. Got my coffee here. I look at that little mini garden on the balcony. Everything is just so perfect. I think a big part of our experience at Minerva is making each city our own. Making sure that I individually enjoy it and I find little corners that give me peace. I just get uncomfortable. Especially comparing Hyderabad to Seoul, there are a lot of things that I'm not used to in terms of transportation, using only cash, it's difficult to get a SIM card. You know what? I'm not gonna be able to see those things, it doesn't matter. My point is that regardless where we are, no matter how uncomfortable it may seem at first, there are always things happening in the city, there are always people that you meet that make the city subjectively amazing based on your interests and what you're looking for. So today, I'm going to a feminist group reading here in Hyderabad. Never been to one before, but I really want to learn more about gender inequality and feminism in India. And then afterwards, I'm going to an event at a vegan cafe. So I guess that's an example of me trying to make the city my own because I love zero waste things and I love like thrift shopping and I love veganism and I love gender equality. <laughs> So now I'm just quickly eating my oatmeal and getting an Uber because it's time to go. Dinner. Yeah, dinner. of students who are doing a documentary about laws in India and they asked me to do a little interview for the documentary I was very nervous but it was a really cool experience so this is them uh, so we're making a short documentary we are focusing on the obscenity laws in India where do you draw, draw the line when it comes to vulgarity and obscenity and the interference of law in the Indian context and we're gonna have to have a dialogue with multiple perspectives so that we have more of public opinion and it becomes a social experiment and we just had a nice interview with uh, this person. You know. <laughs> so, <laughs> me personally, I don't think law should interfere mm -hmm. in any way. But I guess it's people are. It's completely people's business, and I don't think you should intrude into anyone's personal space as such. You know, people should uh, get a little more liberal. But we can't go and change people, so we just have to accept everything. Yeah. Maybe Especially, we can bring out a yeah. slight little change for our comfort, I guess. That's all. Yeah, okay, that's doing that. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks Thank you, we love you. <laughs> so I'm here with Erica. Hi. And we're walking to Terrace Center, which is my favorite place in Hyderabad. I'm so excited to show you guys. Ah! Another vegan cafe and they're gonna have like a yard sale and a seminar. It didn't record much when I was in the 
Terrace and Cafe because I was just reading there um, and enjoying my coffee. I even got another Vietnamese coffee with coconut condensed milk to go. They make, they make everything there from scratch and it's absolutely delicious. So if you want to know where I spent all of my money, it's there. and I only had oatmeal and coffee which is not great not good didn't plan to do it this way so yeah I'm just gonna have this ugly looking but delicious falafel roll from Teresin I'm gonna call my dad and yeah we'll see if anybody cares about what happened to the laundry after I left she hanged it hang no hung it she hung it up, <laughs> hung it up. <laughs> she turned to me I can see that I'm like Vision. I just really wanted to show you laundry because India is the first place where it's actually free for us We don't have to pay for doing our laundry and it's wait towards the light. We don't have dryers So we actually do it in a very sustainable way saving electricity Also 60% of India's electricity comes from burning coal. So the more we save it the better So there's less emissions into the atmosphere Wait, no And less pollution <laughs> It is currently 1.20 a.m. I took a shower, I'm going to bed. Today has been just a very nice day, it's a nice Sunday. Although it was a little bit packed because I was going from one place to another to another, I met a lot of really nice people and I just feel happy because I didn't work on my computer at all. I was reading books and talking and just enjoying the moment and I think that's so absolutely necessary to do every week. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, it makes me so happy when I read your comments and I do my best to reply and to help you out if you want to apply to another or just have questions about what our life is like. And if you wanted to reach out with questions but haven't, please do. My DMs are open. I'm a very accessible person because I care. On that note, I want to make it a little bit more personal and share something that I've been doing every morning and every night since I was 12. And it's basically a practice of gratitude. So when I wake up, I always think of things that I'm grateful for and that I think will make the day good. And at night, before I go to bed, I think again of the things I'm grateful for and I also include to that list my dreams. Things that haven't happened yet, but I'm already grateful for them because I know that they will happen. And I think sharing those lists with people is extremely meaningful. It creates connections and makes people feel understood. And I think just the energy overall is just magical. So I'm gonna try to do it through the camera. I'll start. I'm very grateful for my health and the ability to go to places and feel my body. I'm really grateful for my mental health, that I'm really aware of my feelings and emotions and I know how to make myself happy. And I'm also very grateful for my family who loves and supports me unconditionally. The things that I'm grateful for that have happened, no, that will have happened in the future is my ability to speak German fluently. I'm very grateful for that and that I will have been able to assimilate culturally in Germany and also that I understand Barney's stories on Instagram now and I can laugh at his jokes. Ah, makes me feel so good. Please leave three things that you're grateful for in the comments so I can read it and feel it as well. Or if you don't feel comfortable doing it publicly, just talk to your friend or your parents or to your cat, honestly. It will make you feel very good. That's the mindset with which I'm going to bed. Hope you're having a grateful time, guys, and I will see you in another video next week. Bye.